Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a big promo Friday. Foot Birthday Team 2 is here today in FIBA 22. And we are just hoping for some good content because for the past week, Foot Birthday has seemed a little bit, just a little bit, lackluster because the player SBCs have not been that great. There really hasn't been a ton of great SBCs in general. We've all been collecting the swaps tokens, doing some upgrade packs, and just kind of like hoping for a little bit more, right? And some of that hope was based around Team 2 and maybe the content turning, turning around with the Team 2 coming out today. So we'll talk about potential content. We don't have a leaked team. Usually for promos these days, we're sitting here on a Friday and we're starting to look at the leaked cards and talking about all the leaks and how it's affecting the market. And as of right now, we don't have concrete leaks for actual players that are going to be in foot birthday team too which is kind of refreshing in a sense so we'll talk about the lack of those leaks but we do have a few sbc and objective leaks that could potentially be dropping today on the game as well today's a big day because foot swap tokens the foot birthday swaps tokens are going to be redeemable the rewards will drop for these today as of right now we only have 12 tokens so we'll talk about how that could be impacted um, depending on how many tokens they drop today. Right now, like the highest thing you could get would be either Boetius or the Foot Birthday Team 1 player pack because of that. So we'll talk about that. And of course, the market, because the market's been in a really weird spot. The Foot Birthdays uh, from team number one have actually dropped down some because EA ran lightning rounds yesterday on Thursday. Now, some of these cards have bounced back a little bit. Like Odegaard was 500K. He's now 530. I think he could come back down to like 500 K again, but that depends on the leaks. That depends on, um, you know, people opening packs this morning, doing their foot champs, getting it done early. So we'll talk about a lot of market stuff as a part of this video as well. So if you're excited for foot birthday team two, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. So foot birthday team one is ending, right? And we do have a nice set of cards that are in packs. That's been the most hype thing about this past week is the Cristiano Ronaldo surprise, right? The Odegaard five star, five star, just the solid set of players that we have had in packs for this first week of foot birthday. And it's really the SBCs that have been underwhelming for the most part. We've had a couple decent ones here and there. Now, usually, again, like I said, we roll up to a promo Friday and we know what cards that we are getting today and people are already searching up, hey, watch out for this card today. Or, you know, there were rumors of like Messi being in Team 2 of a birthday or Dybala, uh, Fakir, Firmino, Silas. Um, so... As of right now, we don't have any confirmed leaks, which actually surprises me a bit because I think that some of the leakers might actually have the cars that are supposed to be in, but they haven't really posted about them yet. But, you know, as I look around the market, if there are leaks out there, they must not be that concrete because you have a messy team of the year card that really hasn't dropped down at all. Messi's informs still is kind of up in price for what it was. And if there, if there were real concrete leaks about like Messi or Dybala, or you know some of these other cards that are that were leaked to get into the team today. I think you would see some panic selling on these special cards. So we'll probably see some more leaks today on Friday heading into the content drop because that information will be talked about. So I would look out for that. I know I've been saying it the past couple of days, like hey, watch for leaks. But um, I'm pretty sure actually Foot Sheriff said himself uh, that he was gonna post leaks either yesterday or today, and he still has not done that. So I'm fine with it, right? Give us a little bit of a surprise, right? It was nice last week when we had the Cristiano Ronaldo that was not leaked. That was a nice surprise to actually feel the surprise of, oh my goodness, we were not expecting that sort of card and getting a nice surprise in that. So whoever they drop in the promo team today, I expect that it would be um, just like team number one. I think they just dropped 11 players in packs last week. Then the mini release was three more players. So I wouldn't expect anything more than 11 players in packs today as well. Uh, still, of course, the man of the match items like Phil Foden and uh, those cards are going to be in packs today. These cards do not go out of packs um, until tomorrow. So just be careful if you own a Phil Foden man of the match or, you know, Andre Silva or Handanovic and you're expecting these guys to go up out of packs, they are not going to be leaving packs until tomorrow on Saturday. So those will get supplied today, of course. So that's kind of the impacts, uh, you know, content like team two today, question mark, right? We're really not sure yet, which I'm fine with, but we probably will see some more leaks today heading into the content drop time. Now, taking a look at some other confirmed leaks, I believe one of our only confirmed leaks that we have today is this Lamella 
objective. He says that Lamella is coming to uh, Team 2 as an objective. Again, he says, sorry, Messi leakers, right? Because he, a lot of people have been kind of teasing a Messi. Will it happen? Or will a Dybala get a special card today? So uh, evidently, this is a confirmed leak Lamella objective. Hopefully, it's 5-star, five 5-star, five or at least 5-star skills. Um, and hopefully, the stats are a little bit better than what is shown right there. That could be a really cool card and a really meta FIFA item. Um, and, you know, coming after the Tammy Abraham objective that we've had this last week, Hopefully, this can be at that same level. I think it could have a lot of hype. Again, if he does have a nice five-star skill boost and has some pretty solid stats on the card. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, especially as an expert player. I think he would feel really good in game two just with his body type um, and maybe the five-star skills and how his height and how his kind of profile and in-game build could be in the meta of FIFA. So I'm kind of excited for Lamella, to be honest, if it is good stats, if it's not super hard to do and stuff like that. Now for an SBC today, there's there's been a lot of leaks, but we had a new one yesterday and Sheriff was very excited to leak this. Uh, Sergio Ramos is listed to come as an SBC. C. He said it's not scheduled, so technically we have to take this uh, leak with a grain of salt, a pinch of salt, right? Because he also mentions down here that the Ganduzi SBC was also like a listed SBC to come, but it was not scheduled. So as of right now, there is a potential for a Ramos card. I just hope that EA dropped this because this would be an SBC that people would love. This would be a perfect SBC for today on Friday, right? Last week we had Mkhitaryan, which was nice. It was decently hype, but this would be a big name player that would be an awesome promo Friday SBC. So I don't know if this is today. This is a leak though. Um, and he, he says with some pretty decent positivity here that he thinks it's going to come out. So uh, five-star skill moves, Sergio Ramos, hopefully they up the pace, you know, 85 to 87 pace would be ideal, especially for a high medium center back with those high attacking work rates. You need him to be able to have some pace to come back on defense if you were going to use him. So that's a big name SBC that could potentially be coming this weekend or sometime during foot birthday team two. A couple other cards that have been talked about, DeVry, Coquelin, those are a couple other SBC cards that could be dropping today. I just hope they drop Ramos, right? Now seeing this potential SBC brings a lot of hype for me personally, so I would be down uh, for that SBC to be dropped today. So again, content-wise, the SBCs this last week, as you guys have known, have not been that great, so hopefully they can turn that around. Now another piece of content today is the foot birthday swaps, and we will be able to redeem the swap tokens, and if you don't know where you're going to be able to do that, it'll be under the swaps section here. Um, you will probably see them. I, I think they'll come in front of the icon swap items that you see. It'll probably just have something of a foot birthday outline uh, design in nature, kind of like the foot birthday SBCs have had uh, this week. And right now we only have 12 tokens available. So of course you can only get up to the foot birthday team one player pack or the 89 rated Boetius card. But I think they would probably drop two tokens today so that you could get up to that 86 plus times seven player pack. Um, of course, whatever objective or whatever SBC you would have to do to get that uh, swap token, that you have to factor in that time. So it doesn't, it's it's kind of different, right? If you think about future stars and winter wild cards, when they drop those swaps, like everybody had their 85 times tens ready to go because there was enough tokens released to get those cards. But as of right now, the big fodder pack that is in this swaps program is technically not attainable just yet. Although I would imagine you would be able to get it today after the content drop. So good luck if you're going to be opening those. I know some of you guys have mentioned to me, hey, there's a new pack code that's been added. Basically, this was the pack code that was added and it's the same stuff that is inside of foot birthday swaps. The 86 times seven pack you see that is added here, seven 86 plus rated rare players contains one foot birthday player from team one and the mini release. That's the foot birthday player pack, the 10 token pack. Um, and then they added the 582 to 90 players pack. Um, which uh, actually is not a pack that is listed as a part of the foot birthday swaps. They listed an 83 to 90 times six. So I don't see that in here, but um, that's kind of interesting. That's a fodder pack though. Maybe that's just something they're gonna release via SBC or in the store. I don't know. I wouldn't read into that too much. Uh, and then also there's a foot, foot birthday foundation pack, which all this is basically is the, the 
uh, the, the token that they're going to put in the store, right? They've done this for future stars and for winter wild cards. They put one of those foot birthday swap tokens in the store. This pack's probably going to be expensive, right? 581 plus gold rare players, 185 plus gold rare player, and then one draft token, one foot birthday swap token, and a player pick between two foot birthday players on a five game loan. That's a lot in a pack. That's basically an 85 plus star pack with a draft token and a foot birthday swaps token Th that they're probably going to make that like, I would not be surprised. That might be like an 85, 90,000 coin pack. I don't know what they're going to price this that coin wise, but that's a GG from EA because that's going to make it seem like a really good value pack to go and buy. I don't know if this is going to be actually added into the store today. If they're going to drop a token pack on today a friday i'd be a little surprised if they did that but again fridays are usually all about packs and the new cards that are in packs and lightning rounds and stuff like that so there is potential that they could go out and do that so just be watching for that foot birthday foundation pack as a part of the content today but i don't think this foot birthday player pack that you see here that to me is not like a guaranteed foot birthday player sbc I wouldn't expect that today. Uh, again, I really think that is just for the foot birthday swap. So those are kind of the biggest pieces of content related to foot birthday that we're going to see today. Now, also two other SBCs that we might see. We have two player of the months, La Liga and Premier League that are due to come out either today or this weekend. I think they both will be today. Joel Matip has won the Premier League player of the month. Probably not going to get that hype of an SBC upgrade, just being honest. Liverpool fans, though, you'll probably be happy. I think that SBC will drop today, as well as the Courtois um, Player of the Month SBC, because he was leaked as the winner of the La Liga Player of the Month. So watch out for both of those. Courtois could be actually kind of interesting uh, for some of you guys that run squads in the La Liga. That could be a nice keeper upgrade if it's cheap. Hopefully high-rated cheap. That could be pretty nice. Um, so... That's kind of what's going on with the content today, right? We don't know Team 2. We're going to be looking into the leaks for that today, of course. After this video is posted, I'm sure that on as we get into the day on Friday, we'll see some more stuff uh, leak-wise. But it also would be nice for a surprise, right? So let's kind of get in and talk about the market, of course. Um, the foot birthday cards are on a lot of people's minds today. And so is the pack supply in general. A lot of the icon moments and the foot birthdays dropped in price yesterday. Um, like this Essien was selling at 1.8 million coins for the past two days. He's down in the 1.5s. Schweinsteiger was like 2.2. You can see now he went on bid here for 1.8. Zidane was really low yesterday. He was in like, like 7.5 range where he is right now. He's back up, but he was 6.9 mil yesterday at one point. A lot of supply has been coming onto the market, right? Fodder is down. The foot birthday cards, as we talked about yesterday, got hit in price um, because of all the pack supply that was happening. Um, let me take a look at a good example here. Odegaard's kind of the best example. A lot of people want to buy this card. Um, he has gotten kind of rare as I'm recording this video late night heading into Friday. But yesterday, this is the story, right? Rewards, he, he bounced back up a little bit to like 540, 530, and then boom, EA ran lightning rounds yesterday on Thursday again. That You just know they're going all out with uh, the lightning rounds. And like when they're running random lightning rounds at like 2 or 3 p.m., which is like 7 or 8 p.m. UK time, out of out of nowhere, honestly, they were running those lightning rounds yesterday. So that dropped Odegaard to 484. He's now up to 525. Although I, I did not buy any of these, that was probably going to be just about your lowest time. Unless something crazy happens today, I still think you're going to see these cards be viable today. If the content today is not good, if the team impacts is not as hype, if it doesn't come through, like a lot of people are hoping that it will, um, and if the SBC today is not good, if the objective today is not really good, then I think what you're going to see is some of these foot birthday cards from team number one, especially if there's not a player in team number two that is more exciting or more hype. I think you'll see some of these cards start to rise, specifically a guy like Odegaard. As long as we wouldn't get like a Fakir or a Dybala or especially a Firmino, I think all three of those cards might pull away from the Odegaard hype a little bit, but there's a lot of people that want to buy an Odegaard. Same thing with the Nuno Menge card, right? I'm pretty sure this guy, uh, the Ramos leak came out and he shot up in price a bit yesterday. Yeah, right here. He was like 390. He went to 420, 430, went back down to the 390s, and he's right now still kind of chilling at 400K. 
you know, if there's no left back that is in the promo team today, this is the PSG left back that everybody's going to try to use in this game now because he links to all the PSG center backs, Kempembe, Marquinhos, maybe even a Ramos SBC that could come out, right? So this would be a card that I would like as an out of packs investment unless EA drop another big time left back today. But honestly, what I think you should do and what I'm going to be doing is we're going to wait until we see what the content drop is, what the SBCs are, uh, if there's anything crazy in there, if Ramos were to come out, then of course the Nuno Menge, if Ramos is a good price, would probably go up. You know, even cards like Di Lorenzo or Allen, Suarez, Grealish, Cruz, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, like this whole entire team, if you want to invest in this team, I still think you're going to have an opportunity to do so today. And if the content is bad, like I was saying, we've seen this so many times a lot earlier this year with team ones, if team two is not that good, then team one will jump up immediately on that Friday after content because people will say, okay, this is not really hype. I'm going to go out and buy this card for my team that I really want to get um, because this price is low. There's nothing new coming out today that has me interested. So I'm just going to go out and buy the card, right? That's what I would watch out for today with these foot birthday items. Uh, I guess you're taking a little bit bigger of a risk if you buy before the content drop today. Of course, we'll see leaks, I'm assuming, and see some stuff hopefully, because we um, have, been, have grown to expect those, right? Whether you like leaks or whether you don't, we've grown to expect those. And that will impact maybe our decisions on how the market could react once we maybe start to hear some of those leaks and stuff. Uh, but if there's any of these existing Team 1 foot birthday cards, I think you're going to have a last shot to um, pick these guys up today. Maybe not at the absolute lowest price ever. Uh, you know, specifically like a guy like Nuno Menge. Like if you see 390 again, that's not a bad price. I mean, it's really, really not a bad price in my opinion. He's gonna have so much hype again with all the links that he has. And if they do release Ramos, you know, that's a card I would look into buying today. Even some of the cheaper cards like Torreya and Guerrero. Um, you know, buy one of those, put it in your club. Doku as well. I think even though these cards have had so much supply and Doku, you know, has gotten packed so much over the past couple weeks, this dude at like 15,000 coins, 16K, if you can get one on bid, like this is a no brainer. There's not very many right wings in the league on. Buy one, put it on your transfer list, put it in your club for like two, three weeks, come back, new icon swaps. Um, objectives are probably going to come out maybe uh, requiring league one friendlies again or something like that. And this guy could very easily be 25 K in two to three weeks, right? That's a sort of investment you could make with some of these lower tier cards. And all of it, all it takes is for EA to release one SBC or one card that they link to um, at, at a cheaper budget as well. And those cards go up even more. So just keep an eye on some of that lower tier. If you have a lot of coins, it's worth buying one, sticking it in the club, and just hoping for a little bit of a rise. Again, if the content is really, really good today, and if EA come out with something insane, which is kind of the opposite of what we've been talking about, but let's say they release like an insane Ramos today, or um, you know the players in packs are just crazy, and everybody wants to run and get these brand new players that they're releasing, then you might not see all of the Team 1 cards really rebound in price. Um, that's kind of the other caveat, and that's why I would say, it, you know, it's, it's not that much risk if you just wait until the content drop to see what happens. Uh, now, of course, if the content is bad today, again, let's talk about fodder for a second. We actually had a decent SBC yesterday, the Rice Rice Baby. I love how EA had some fun with this. GG's. Uh, Five-star skill move, medium-high work rates, Declan Rice. This is probably a top three-foot birthday SBC so far. Timber, Mkhitaryan, and Declan Rice are up there for me as the best ones. Uh, and this one is a little bit overpriced. I think they could have made it 100,000 coins cheaper, if I'm being completely honest. But I think if the content is not good today, people are going to run back to the market, buy SBC fodder, and they're going to do the Rice Rice Baby SBC, get that Declan Rice. They're going to go and finish off doing the 84 plus player picks if they hadn't finished those to try to pack somebody from the promo team. Or they're going to go and try and finish the mid or prime icon player pick or the prime icon upgrade. I think all of these would, there's, there's a decent SBC, uh, I guess, you know, grind that you could do right now. If you had nothing else to do and you see that fodder is really cheap, which it is because of the constant supply that EA has been bringing, 86s are 14 to 15K, 85 rated are 8,000 coins, 87s, 19K, 88s, 29. We've seen this multiple times in the past few weeks is that fodder gets really, really low right around the content drop, whether it's right before or right after, and then it goes up. Because if the content is not insane, not that good, people always love going and doing SBCs. And there's a lot of SBCs available at the moment. 
And since fodder is dropping, all these prices to do these cards look a lot cheaper. The mid or prime player pick yesterday was 600K to do. It's now 550. The prime icon upgrade was like 360. It's 330, right? And if the prices drop a little bit lower this morning, that's going to be even more demand for people that open some packs, get some cards, especially if you can get the 86 times seven pack today, that's going to supply some people's accounts with some untradeable fodder. And that's going to be even more of a reason for them to go out and do an SBC or maybe even the 83 to 90 times six. If people are going to go out and do that today, just keep an eye on the fodder side of the market because you might be even able to trade with some of that and it might be a good opportunity to stock some of those in your club this weekend once again now the only thing that's going to kind of depend is are ea going to go crazy with the lightning rounds this weekend are they going to be running the lightning rounds like every single hour have the star packs and all that sort of stuff if they did it last week i would imagine that they're going to do it this week as well so you're probably going to have some constant supply on this higher rated fodder from those 85, 86, 87 star packs that they could be releasing. So just be a little careful with that. That's the only caveat to this is that if they keep releasing supply and they don't release a lot of good SBCs, um, then you know that probably will keep the prices kind of lower how it's been the past week in relation to SBC fodder. But if they don't do that, which we'll be able to tell, if they do more than just the three hours of lightning rounds, they'll probably keep doing the crazy ones like they've been doing. But if they stop, then you know we might be in the clear for some SBC fodder buys this weekend and then more rises next week that we didn't see this week because the content wasn't that good and the supply was insane. So just kind of keep that in mind from an SBC fodder perspective. Now for the rest of the market today, last Friday we saw some panic selling, right? Out of pack special cards, you know, um, like some team of the year honorable mentions or some future stars. Like I was flipping future stars, um, Ferran Torres, last week. I, I remember buying this card at like 745,000 coins and selling him over 800K, which he still is. Oh, he's kind of rare right now, 850. So if you see panic selling today, I think that would be directly correlated to how insane the leaks are. If we have really insane leaks today, like for a Messi or for a Dybala or a Fakir with really juiced up stats with great five-star upgrades, uh, then I think you would see more panic selling, but I think it's really going to be dependent upon what is leaked today. If there's nothing that is leaked, then you're probably not going to see that much panic. And there's just going to be, okay, we're waiting to see what we get uh, for 6 p.m. So that's kind of the other part of the market today that I think you just kind of have to wait and see what happens leaks wise. And then icon moments as well. People are starting to sell these off again because they know that they're going to get supplied more through lightning rounds today. Um, and we're going to get the second set of the rest of the icon moments tomorrow on saturday so be watching for that some of these cards have dropped down in price a decent amount like i mentioned at the beginning of the video wow eusebio 7.2 wow yeah he was like 7.8 7.9 almost 8 million coins like two days ago so Canavaro was down that i've seen Vieira is down pretty bad he was like 4.1 mil now he's 3.7 so a lot of these icon moments are probably going to continue to drop as they get supplied through the, the lightning rounds and through the packs this weekend, as well as tomorrow, there's brand new icon moments coming out into packs. So just be careful with these. They'll be really good to trade because they're still pretty rare um, and they haven't been on the market for that long, but just be careful with those. I, I would expect their prices to drop off some more this weekend in general with those new cards coming on and the supply continued. So again, it really comes down to today, are they going to release some sick cards and packs? Are they going to do a Messi, a Dybala, Fakir, a Silas? Like the potential here is, is big, but it seems like this has been a bit of a letdown for a foot birthday so far, but I hope it stops here. And I hope they really turn it up today and make this foot birthday teams to start off with a bang. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments, but those are all my thoughts for a big time foot birthday team Two promo Friday today in FIBA 22. If you enjoyed the video, put a thumbs up on it. Again, comment if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.